All right, so before I could even get there and do it myself, this guy already had it done, and this is uh, JSM Customs, and basically he, Matt, finished the Shattered Backboard 3.0. I wanted to do this myself. I saw that him and Sneakerhead in the Bay did a video on this, on their method. I wanted to try a cheaper and easier method to see how the results would come out. So wish me luck in this video. <laughs> you, they look fake? They look like trash bags. Because <laughs> of the glossiness? Yeah. A trash bag, huh? Yeah. That's actually kind of a, a cool comparison. I didn't think about that. Uh, nope. 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 Not even. All right, so here is the final results. As you can see, they actually look pretty good. I took off that crazy glossy finish and I absolutely love the way that these things look. And yes, they are functional. So there's a couple things that I took away from actually creating these, from doing this really cheap alternative. So there's only two or three things that you really need to make this happen. Two of them are probably household items if you have a mom around or a sister or, what, or a wife, basically. And then the other one is the thing that you need, which is the matte spray finish. But the other two items is really, really simple. You need acetone or nail polish remover. So it makes the matte spray adhere to the uh, upper a little bit better. I found that it does hold better and it doesn't crack and stuff like that uh, when you spray on the upper layer. So definitely nice to be able to do if you have that um, nail polish remover, give it a try. If you don't have nail polish remover and you try and it does crack a little bit, just use the nail polish remover after the fact and then reapply and that's what I did and these came out perfectly fine. The other thing that you would need and something that is a good technique as you're spraying um, is to use a hair dryer or a heat gun and so you spray it down with a matte finish and then you hit it with the heat gun and then it dries on quicker. Then I just let them sit overnight. Don't try to press on the materials and stuff right away. It might crack a little bit if you do that. So just wait, let it sit overnight and uh, next day everything is good to go as you could see here and really really simple again i didn't need to use an airbrush or anything like that this is kind of the poor man's version of what sneaker in the bay and the other dude did 
but uh, but you can see it worked out pretty good. So uh, I mean, it actually sticks on, and you don't have to worry about like it sloughing off or like a top layer or anything like that be, um, being ruined. And I was pretty confident this was gonna work because I've done a couple hydro dip videos like this pair right here and. I sprayed this with a top coat on it, and you can see, I mean, I can bend and crease. This is cringy for those people that don't like to see those creases, but I can crease it right here, and the print stays on. It doesn't scratch, scratch off or anything like that, so it actually adheres to the to the sneaker right here, uh, and I, again, I just hit it with that top coat. Look at that crease right there. Man, those are beautiful, but anyway, I uh, and if, if you've missed this video, this is like one of my favorite hydro dips, so go back to my channel and check that one out. Anyways, if you do want to transform your shattered backboard 3.0s, I will link uh, the supplies in the description. Super simple. Honestly, I taped off parts of the shoe, probably unnecessary, but I taped off the midsole and the tongue because I didn't want it to have a finish on it and also the liner. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Just remove the laces, tape off those sections here, and you're good to go. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video entertaining or useful. If you guys did, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Almost at 500,000 subscribers. I'm going to hopefully try to hit 500,000 before the end of the year, but who knows, we'll see what happens. But have a great rest of the day, and thank you guys for stopping by and watching. More sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.